We got a lot of new features with the 5.3 update to DJ Pro. In this video, I'm going to show you how to map my favorite new feature, and that is the Neuromix Crossfader. So you're going to find it in the middle here. So it might look like this. You might be in your regular equalizer. So you press that, and then there's a drop down menu in the equalizer. Then we have Neural Mixed EQ, which you could do the stems as kind of like a mixer section. Or the really cool new feature, my favorite way how to use Neural Mix is going to be over here, Neural Mix Crossfader. So both of these controllers are reverted back to their, their original mapping out of the box. And yes, you can connect more than one controller into DJ Pro at the same time, whether it's Bluetooth or it's a hardwired controller. So without mapping anything, we when you move the Crossfader, all the stems from Neuromix are going to follow. If you want to add more stems to this feature, there's that drop down menu that appears, and you could go all the way up to four, but still, it's going to control all of them with the crossfader. For this video, I am just going to map two of the stems, and then it'll be the same process if you wanted to map more. I just haven't found any controllers with more than one crossfader on them. So, to map any controller, we're going to press the middle button. And then we're going to go to MIDI devices. We're going to find our controller. I'm going to do the DJ to go to touch first, and then we'll do the control mix. So here we are. And now to map any button in this software, you're just going to, or knob or fader, you're just going to move it. So you move it and it selects it CC. So now it says mixer the, at the target. That's what it's controlling. You could do mixer or each deck, but we're going to want the mixer. And then we're going to press action and then we're going to go down neural mix four channels neural mix three channels neural mix two channels so for this one i'm going to map the instrumentals press save so now with this controller, this crossfader is going to control the instrumentals. So if I want the instrumentals of the song on the right, there you go. Instrumentals on the song on the left. And it's not going to control the regular crossfader at all. That's going to be for my main controller. Now let's map the Hercules control mix. Press the middle button. Go back to where we were. Pick that controller. So we're going to do MIDI devices. So now we're going to find touch our crossfader. And now mixer, we're going to do neural mix acapella. So now we could do this. We could erase the star, but I don't do it straight, push through all the stars with a fire in the sun. So there we go. We have. We have two crossfaders doing separate things. I wish I could find a controller that actually had three or four crossfaders. Maybe we'll see that in the future as controllers are designed with DJ in mind. So now I just want to show you how to do the same thing, but with knobs instead. So I'm going to use this Akaya controller. So this Akaya controller is plugged in. This is more of like a MIDI device, not really a DJ controller. But what I want to map is these knobs to control all four stems. So let's go to four, press the middle button, find our controller. There it is. Touch one of these knobs. So we're going to go to mixer. Scroll down. Four channels, drums. Bass. And the cool thing is when you start mapping, when you go back to select what it does, you're going to be where you scroll down on the other one. So like that.
these four knobs are going to control the Neuromix crossfader, which I think is super cool. Uh, um, what I think I'm going to do with this controller is have it be like a Neuromix only additional controller. So I'll have the crossfader up there. I might have the Neuromix EQs in here and then um, the isolations on these pads. And if you want to see my full review on this controller, check out this video over here.